I'm Levi Newharth and my wife Crystal. We uh, run Prairie Paradise Farms in central South Dakota. We have about 2,300 acres of farm ground and 3,000 acres of pasture that we custom graze cattle. We have goats, chickens, horses. We like to farm with soil health in mind. We have been in no-till for 27 years and it has really helped our soils become more resilient. We've also done rotational grazing for the last eight or nine years and that has really helped our pastures in getting more diversity and being able to have a longer grazing season than we have in the past. With our soil health practices that we do, it helps use our water more efficiently as well. It helps us conserve our water in the dry years and it helps us use moisture in the wet years to kind of keep our infiltration going as best as we can. Resilience with our farm means that we can help recover quicker and more efficiently and we can handle the extremes a little bit better than we could in the past. We had a drought one year and it seemed like most of the different wheat crops were failing but we actually had a decent to almost above average yield. So I would have to say that our soil health practices are the reason that we actually had a very good yield in, in that wheat crop. I don't know as much as the person is more stressed, but the ground is definitely more stressed than the conventional system because it has to overcome more obstacles on the heat or the wind or the rain, the erosion. It's comforting to know that we're doing what we can and what we can't do, we just try not to let it weigh on us as much. We're gonna be able to make it a profitable year by spreading out our risks and not just having one or two things that we get our income from and if mother nature would take out that one or two things then that would be a very hard thing on an operation but we have spread our risk out over many different entities 